Hi everyone, this is Shivangi and welcome back to the Daydream Project Beauty. For a while now, I've been getting so many queries regarding pack HD foundation. A lot of you ask me if I prefer pack foundation over some other foundation for which I was giving a review. And I read all your comments guys, but I could not respond to any of your queries because I had not even tried that foundation out. I finally got my hands on pack HD liquid foundation. I'm going to try it out today. I'm going to give you guys a demo of this foundation and also tell you what I genuinely honestly think about this particular foundation. I'm really excited for this video because so many of you asked me about it and I'm glad that I'm doing this. Let's find out what's the hype about. Pack HD Liquid Foundation retails for 875 rupees guys and since I do not trust online swatches I actually went to a store swatched the shades and I picked out the shade 1.6 so this was the closest match to my skin tone and that's why I picked it up. I use NC35 in MAC so if your skin tone matches mine then you can give this shade a go. Before I start the video, there is a request. Please make sure that you go through the description box once. There are certain links and certain details about my makeup, my lip color, my hair color, etc, etc. So I highly recommend that you go through the description box once. Now without further ado, let's begin the demo of Pack HD Liquid Foundation. Okay guys, so I'm all set for the demo. The first thing that I'm going to do is prime my face. I'm using Lotus Eco Stay Primer. It's a good primer, it's affordable and it serves the purpose well.
Alright, so the powder has completely mattified my face and I know that I'm looking like a ghost right now but it will all come together once I'm done with my makeup. And guys, I'm telling you in advance, I'm not going to use any compacts, any concealers, any more layers of foundation on my face. I'm only going to finish up the rest of my makeup and not add any more layers to my face so that we know how the base looks without adding more layers to it. Now I'm going to go and finish off my makeup and tell you guys my final thoughts on Pack HD Liquid Foundation. And I'm back guys and this is what my makeup is looking like right now. I am pretty happy with the results. But after I finish my makeup, I realized that uh, this is definitely medium to buildable full coverage foundation because I told you that I've not used any concealer or any compact. I did not even bake my under eye area. So I can see that there is, if you can see this, I can see this light darkness under this area so if you've got heavy dark circles then you definitely need a concealer with this foundation um, I'm gonna apply a compact and see how this area looks like after that I'm going to apply L'Oreal infallible compact in 225 beige yeah I think it is much better now so as I told you that if you've got heavy dark circles, you definitely need to apply some sort of concealer with this foundation but overall I think this is a really good foundation it did not oxidize at all so that's a good thing my last foundation review was for Maybelline Superstay foundation and that foundation does oxidize this one does not so you can definitely choose a shade which exactly matches your skin tone I am as I told you I am in the shade 1.6 so if you have a skin tone similar to mine you can pick this one now let me quickly tell you certain pros and cons of pack HD liquid foundation as always starting with the positive points first the packaging is amazing guys it comes in a glass bottle which has a pump it does not feel cheap at all and it is really handy and easy to use Secondly, the consistency of this foundation is pretty good. It's neither too thick nor too runny, so it blends pretty well on the skin without any hassles. Thirdly, unlike some really popular brands, the shade range of this foundation is pretty vast. It comes in 18 shades, so you'll definitely find your match. And last but not the least, I really like the finish of this foundation. The finish is somewhere between dewy and matte. I have a dry skin guys and there are certain foundations which can make my skin feel extra dry. But this one is super lightweight and it is not heavy at all and it is not drying my skin or making me uncomfortable in any way. Now coming to the negative points, it's not exactly a negative point guys but it's just something that you need to keep in mind. Do not heavily moisturize your face or use any sort of facial oil or oil-based primer before using this foundation. Because as I told you that this foundation is not 100% matte, it gives a dewy finish. So if you do use a heavy moisturizer or an oil-based product before applying this foundation, there's a possibility that while you're blending it, it might shift from your skin. It takes a bit of time to settle on your skin. So just make sure that you're not using any heavy moisturizer or oil based primer or anything of that sort if you do have a dry skin then just use a light moisturizer and a normal primer and you'll be good and if you do have an oily skin then skip the moisturizer just use a good primer and then apply this foundation you'll be fine to sum it all up, if you're looking for a foundation under the range of 1000 rupees, then I do highly recommend this product. I am glad that so many of you asked me so many questions about this foundation and I ended up trying it out. I really do like it guys, you can definitely consider buying this one. We've come to an end of this video, I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you can do that too. I post updates about upcoming videos and a lot of makeup stuff. So if at all you want, you can go ahead and follow me there too. And guys, if you do like this video, then hit that like button. And if you have not subscribed already, then subscribe right now. We post a lot of different stuff. So make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned. On that note, I'm signing off for now. I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.